My name's Frances Jensen, and I work at the University of Pennsylvania as the Chair of Neurology at the Perlman School of Medicine. The teenage brain is different from the adult brain in several ways, but two major patterns come out. First of all, because uh, children and teenagers are actually wired to learn faster than adults, um, their synapses, where the brain cells talk to one another, are actually at higher numbers in childhood and adolescence. So teenagers actually have more synapses than adults. They also have more of the ability to learn, to strengthen those synapses than adults. We call that synaptic plasticity, how brain cells um, respond to the, they can be molded by the environment. That actually increased excitability of their brains um, is a very good thing. The second way the teenage brain is very different is that the way our brain areas are hooked up to one another, the major brain regions, is a process that takes two and a half decades of our lives to actually occur. The brain is the last organ in the body to mature and therefore it takes until your mid to late 20s to finish. And that property that takes a very long time, one of the major properties is the way we connect brain regions up to one another. So it's called myelination, and it starts in the back of your brain and moves forward. So the last place to connect is the frontal lobe. Um, frontal lobe is important for judgment, impulse control, decision making, and empathy. So when we think of teenagers, one of the problems they have is that they're not really accessing their frontal lobe as fast as they could. Teen brains are very impressionable. Um, to good things, but also to bad things. And one of the important things that I think teenagers need to know about themselves is this hidden strength is a bit of a double-edged sword in that addiction is a form of synaptic plasticity too. Instead of learning a good thing, your brain is actually learning a bad thing, which is substance abuse, and one gets the same strengthening of the wrong synapses robustly more than in the adults. So actually teenagers can get addicted harder, stronger, longer, faster than the adult. You couple that with the fact they're risk takers, they're actually potentially putting themselves in harm way, harm's way more. But it's not just the process of getting addicted. Um, actually, some of these substances prevent the normal process, the good things happening in your brain, and can change the way your brain develops. People who are addicted um, early have a much harder time undoing that addiction later in life. There are other things though, like stress, that can affect your brain in the adolescent years um, and can have long-term effects on later adult development, such as increasing the risk of depression. I find when um, we explain some of the new research on the teenage brain to parents and teachers, there's a sense of, so that's why they did it. Oh, now I get it.